Good morning everyone. So this morning I'm shooting at Corvalli Beach. So it's currently 6.45 in the morning and the conditions aren't great. It's full clear with no clouds, which is a bit of a shame, but I think I'm gonna try and get some nice long exposures of this pool here and the water behind it. Some of the reflections in this pool this morning is really nice, so I'm gonna try and capture that. Yeah, so I'll set up and see what happens. So I've shot a few photos of this pool in front of me and actually they haven't come out that nicely. It's, I mean I got one nice one. I need to bring the camera up so I've extended the tripod legs and I'm going to give this another shot. The thing with the photos that I was getting just then to blow down is it has cut out quite a bit of the pool and for me I don't want to cut out the pool. So, I've taken off my 10 stop, I'm going to angle this again, I'm going to compose this again, just so I'm not cutting out the pool. Send a column mark a bit, just so that I get a, more, a bit more leverage with my angle. I want to include more of the sky, but you know what, I might do a, a stitch. Thinking for this shot, I'm going to do the shot of the pool, and then I'm going to move my camera up a little bit. Yeah so I can get the sky. So with 30 seconds, F8, ISO 100, set a two second timer. Yeah, actually I don't mind that. I moved it up a little bit. Same settings, two second timer. So I've composed another shot just behind me here. And I've got um, this sort of chain fence that's running all along the pool. And I'm gonna try and give it a shot with my 10 stop ND, maybe with 30 seconds of time. I'll get that really nice silky water. And actually for this shot, I think I'm gonna focus stack it, um, which is a little bit frustrating when you're using a 10 stop because it means you have to take it off every time you um, focus. Again, because you need to make sure that that focus is pin sharp. When you're looking through a 10 stop, you can't see anything. But for now, I have focused basically to the front of the chain, just literally a foot in front of my lens, maybe even less, in mid ground and then towards the back to infinity. Hopefully, that'll get the entire frame dead sharp. So, for this shot, I especially need to make sure that the chain doesn't move that much. It is a little windy, so it is going to be moving. But, yeah, actually the chain's moving quite a bit. It's a little bit annoying. Hopefully I can get it sharp. If not, I might actually do a fourth exposure of the chain at one two hundredth of a second or something like that, just so that I can capture that chain sharp and then I can paint it in, in Photoshop or something. So I'm at 30 seconds F8 ISO. 100 um, just focus to the front of my frame you never know actually it might turn out that I don't need to do a sharp frame of the chain because if I needed to do that <coughs> I would need to expose ex do the whole focus stack again because I'll be painting in a totally different chain 
and actually that looks quite nice looking at the histogram I haven't clip the shadows or the highlights which is really really good I thought I was gonna at least clip the highlights just a little bit so that means any of the glare that's in the photo I can bring down with a um, graduated filter in post-processing so now I'm going to take the 10 stop off and refocus to the mid ground and then take that shot and do it again now when you're doing something like this it's important to make sure that you don't actually move your camera at all because once you move your camera, you absolutely have to redo the whole focus back again, and that sucks. So I'll put my 10 stop back on and do this shot. I've basically just focused on that nearest pole just there. So now I, there is a swimmer in the pool, so... Hopefully we can blur him with 30 second exposure. Or I could use the first exposure when there wasn't anyone in there and just paint in the sharpness of the chain and hopefully that makes it work. So you can see here that I'm not clipping the highlights at all because there's no, none of the histogram is all the way over there on that side and then I'm not clipping the shadows either anywhere because it's not touching the edge there. So that's a good healthy histogram and I've got those four photos, looks really nice. Anyway, I'm going to finish this video up here. I'm, a bit of a, I'm in a bit of a rush now so yeah thank you all so much for watching and if you haven't subscribed yet please do consider subscribing and I'll see you all in the next one.